Well, uh, hey everyone, it's Q here. Um, I don't clean this up, but I might as well mention something. Uh, I held in mind, like, my current medical condition. So, yeah, well, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Alright. Uh, as I was shuffling the ace of cups kind of like was sliding out and i went to remove it and it was just like really hard to and then when i did i just like began weeping so hard um, to find the empress underneath and then i split the deck and get ten swords and death well scary what was the sad part was that um, I don't want to hurt somebody by opening up and taking a cup to which the energy replied that's my choice and that's probably why I began weeping so hard <laughs> It's my choice. Yeah. And as I said that, I understood. <laughs> the, um, Knight of Wands and the, the Four of Wands here. <sighs> um, weird. I don't know, today's really weird. A lot weird. Just wait until I get in the water. <sighs> All right, everybody, the cancer's in the water. <laughs> Here it comes. Uh, hope y'all ready. I ain't seen nothing yet. It's weird. <laughs> um, what's weird is the difference uh, between knowing about something and knowing something. And I know I have no fear. <laughs> and it's just kind of weird. You know, find something. Uh, yeah. Incredible. Um, yeah. Words are very hard in this space. I get it. <laughs> I know. I don't know about no more. I know. I'm like, uh, a cloud glob. <laughs> uh, when I'm taking my notes, I'll just write like a little cloud glob because you can you can calibrate that. Oh, I usually remember when I look at it too. I'm like, what was going on here? Oh yeah. <sighs> Sometimes no. Uh, it'll be something profound. I, I don't know. <laughs> but there it was. Mm, it's there for me to remember later. Anyway, I guess that's just my self-recording here. Uh, I was looking into, so what's up with my cancer? <laughs> uh, look how lighthearted I was about that. Yeah, I wasn't crying. Yeah, no. The only thing I cried about was like, taking someone's love. 
because like the deck was just offering me this ace of cups and i was just all like but they even like dangled on by just like a little tiny little corner enough for me to do a muscle test and like take this card and i said no and i was like all right and it still gave me the choice and then i weed Made me feel better. Yeah. My cheat code <laughs> for anybody that can um, resonate with dealing with cancer and the pain of it. Um, I'm doing no treatment right now. Um, don't be in your body. <laughs> Uh, you don't be in your body often. You good. <laughs> That's cute. Here's looking at you, kid. Mm. either that or something I'm, that's why I'm not sad about it I'm like well it's, I'm a pretty safe person so uh, hell she gonna take, out, take me out uh, shit heaven can't do it they get all like healed and saved like straight up I made notes on that uh, I don't know I'm just me or allow, or I don't even know anymore. I just don't resist. That's what it is. I don't resist. Anytime I have resistance, it's usually wrong. <laughs> Other than you catch me being wrong, that's when I was thinking. <laughs> intuition and feeling I'm I, I might have gotten the neighbor's house instead of your house uh, I don't know it's just always I don't know strange kid it's like I was made for this I'm still saying harder. <laughs> you got an 11? <laughs> Hot. <laughs> Is it weird that I get turned on about dying? I don't know. Confession. <laughs> uh, at least he did confess that to me. Uh, I've come to realize that when you were just being authentic and real and expressing yourself that's when you were the most joyous that's why you're attached and was attached and is attached to this one I made you feel actually free and then pretense came up by whatever means let's test it well then that's not authentic they're pushing the envelope that's not authentic It's gonna be authentic. It runs them all away, but shit, it's literally saved my life. Ouch. That's true. I'm 
person knows about it. I literally saved his life. <laughs> literally. Sorry, this letter didn't tell you. <laughs> uh, especially after that day. That was that day, too. The infamous day. someone else said. <laughs> uh, yeah. The dumb things that have to happen in order for the dominoes to cascade. Uh, how else? <laughs> it's like not being set up for cancer. Like, well, you're a safe person. You don't really drive like a bat out of hell. Why am I talking about cars? Look the people in the eyes as you cross the crosswalk. Well, you gonna kill me? You gonna do it staring at my face? <laughs> so, um, cancer. <laughs> uh, the newest thing is um, the raw beef smell thing. I don't know what's up with that. Literally, just all my hamburger. It's weird. My beta phantom smells good. I don't know anything. Eh. My confusion. It's. It's not as solid as we think it is. Is that it? That's poor. Yeah, it's, it's close. Yeah. I shouldn't tell people this. Time. It's just close. Not as solid as you think it is. <laughs> what is that I said today? Yeah. I couldn't change you. So I changed the world. And it was easier. <laughs> oh, that's a cute quote. Oh, for sure. Yeah. The universe is something else. Definitely a holographic universe. I feel like the pain is selective. I don't know. I'm very pain tolerant. That cramp, though, good God. I wanted to disconnect my leg and be it to stop with its own self. <laughs> and I still think that would have felt better. Uh, yeah, that's gnarly. That could be. That was someone's hatred. Or worse. Yeah, they yeah, like ripped me out of my sleep. Uh, I think I fell asleep crying. That's all right. Those are the worst, though. Of all the pain I dealt with, that's the worst. Uh, you like your dreams? For what? <laughs> that's what I just don't get. I'm just like, for what? It's literally the same thing. You're just trading symptoms out. I just want a friend. Someone I can say, 
It just oddly smells like raw beef. And I don't know why. I don't know why I just heard Steve's parrot. And I was saying I needed a friend. And he's a Pisces. <laughs> Humor is the light in this dark shithole. Humor, you can stand in a dark shithole and well say, oh, this is shitty. <laughs> uh, that's right. Oh, it'll all be all right. I'm excited to get out of Proto Bubble. I'll tell you that. Everybody in line waiting for it. Ooh, we, um, well, well, I guess you still just know about instead of no one. So, you know, you gotta. <laughs> oh. I don't know. I love. I do. I love. That's what's gotten me in all my trouble. Uh. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's this? A new perspective. He's got me. Alright, well, that was just a general little powwow. I don't know. I've been exhausted. So I've just been outside talking to people. <laughs> Am I in the way of them doing that? I don't know. I always just help them. <laughs> uh, and it's a pleasure and it's a delight, but... Uh. I did. I had that one that one time. That was nice. I still don't know what she said for sure. It was just an energy read. I don't even think it's a real person. Uh, I should really actually document all the weird, no, miraculous. Uh, what would be an anti mirror? The devious uh, shenanigans. There you go. Miracles and shenanigans that happen. Uh, for the most part, the shenanigans are benign. I don't think they're supposed to be. Or maybe I'm just uh, have a weird way of looking at things. And I don't have fear. The only time I had the, the fear danger sense to which. I kicked it in the balls and said, well, you're going to have your hair standing up on it as you get down to your knees. Uh, I'm ready. <laughs> I think I even said it aloud. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Honestly, it don't matter. The world I see. Uh, yeah, no. Y'all don't see it. <laughs> it doesn't exist to y'all. The world I used to see doesn't even exist. It feels like... The term that came to mind was fluidic space. Um... Being in the womb. And you're everything inside of it. Not just the growing little human. No, it's still boxed. I hate language. I cannot convey that. Stupid pop.
not media in there, bro. Everything's connected is what I want to say, but... It's the drop into the ocean. Phenomenal. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Steve. I want to check that out. I need to research that. It could have been a plant. Their nice foliage. It's like they're almost like studying. <laughs> I wonder if it's hard. Uh, I appreciate it. They have so they they give their they give it away too easily though. I don't know if they're supposed to do that. Uh, that's it. That's the thing I can't do. They give it away. Oh, I just didn't know if it's on purpose or not. There's, yeah, there's like, I, I don't think I know about those two. Layer nine, when you get to the real fish. <laughs> Bitch, I watched the Inception and was all like, yeah, and I'm a Doctor Who fan. <laughs> Y'all not know how to think, not literally. <laughs> uh, I was like, I follow them. Ooh. Dreams when I was four. <laughs> not quite how it's experienced at all. <laughs> the experience of most things is pretty boring. <laughs> uh, oh, Barotic. What the hell is wrong with me? I haven't eaten beef in a like a while. That was pork. Chicken. smelling like it's like the blood in the air. I don't know. Maybe it's a friend. <laughs> I did discover it was I'm like, oh sulfur, sulfur, blah blah blah. It smells like parts rays. Well yeah, you know, all in flowers and it smells good. It's usually very um pleasant. I can never tell with flower. But yeah that is true. The, those thing that is true. I've experienced that. And then I learned, I don't know if I'm in trouble for this one. Mission uh, <laughs> authority in front of his audience. Uh, reveal this. Yeah, uh, metal is another one. Those are the things to worry a little more about. Especially iron. Mm. I don't know why someone's making that before. That's in one of my book writings. Some things check out. I check everything out. I'm curious. Nah. Now we get phantom like smells. Uh, and more taste. Like I just like licked it. <laughs> oh. The ones that bust the balls the most are the ones that taste like tin. It literally taste like you're chewing on aluminum. <laughs> oh. Like willingly. Uh, so I keep, they have their purposes as well, too. In fact, new um, proclamation, I don't know, alteration 221983. I mentioned that a lot. Um, uh, truth demons. <laughs> Uh, the proposed idea was uh, that they're the nagging voice in the head of those that resist the natural voice um, to go pretty much torture them with the truth. <laughs> uh, we'll see how it goes. The first initial thing made me chuckle, so and that happened instantaneously. They were excited. Under new management.
judgment. <laughs> um, that's a good transition for them. They, they'll, they'll be scared, trust me. <laughs> the truth is the scariest thing, seemingly. Uh, or maybe they'll learn the two critical things. Be truthful. There ain't no damn truth. <sighs> yeah. Everything's groovy. I need to be nicer to my human. It politely asked today. It was like, will you please eat? I was like, what? Didn't we eat? <laughs> uh... Before, I was like, N I mean, no. I mean, you made the food, and then you put it away. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess we can eat. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it about put me in a coma earlier. It was just like, well, um, well, I need sleep now, now. That's why I'm not doing the reading that's here. I'm just kind of talking. I just picked up the cards and just wee. <laughs> I couldn't anchor myself here. It was hard. To which, do not go there unless you know how to ride pillars of light. And I started this with the difference between knowing and knowing the path. <laughs> know how to ride a pillar of light. If you don't, don't go there. You might get stuck. Shit, I almost got stuck. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is exquisite. Uh, I know, that's just an escape from the pain. Uh, that's not really an escape. It's more of like... Patience, excitement. Like, I'm excited. Like, the only one thing I was holding on for was my agreement. And that just got resolved, so. Uh, uh, the, like, option was presenting itself, I guess. I was like, I'm okay with this. And then, I don't know what pulled me out of it, honestly. Oh, um, I wanted to make sure I could ride a pillar of light. Oh, I guess I should have just left them. Oh my god, I'm gonna be home right now. Hmm. Not today, it seems. I'm ready to go, though. But, I can ride a pillar of light, so it's good. Hey. Um, uh, you have to energetically pull out your heart and shield what you love, the target of the pillar of light. <laughs> you literally break it down. There's an equation, a love equation. <laughs> um, and you just stand it all till it shatters. And when it shatters, there's your pillar of light. Pew. It hurts. <laughs> I did try a different technique the other day. It didn't hurt as much, but it was hard to concentrate. Trade off, I guess. dying every time. How's that feel? You're killing I will take this ego and I will stand up against something for something other than myself. And that creates that light. And if you stand by it truly, it builds and builds and builds and shatters to go out and be with God? <laughs> I don't know how 
to explain it. It's like the creation of a soul. A what? I've never thought of that. That's weird. <laughs> oh, oh, oops. <laughs> Divine Science 301 <laughs> uh, What a funny rant uh, I might bury this on YouTube I don't know but Sometimes you find yourself in a dark space And when you do You need a pillar of light I just taught you how to do it You can try all of yours is an illusion. You're completely safe. And if you find that you can do it, you just let me know because we need help up here. It's just me. And I'm not all y'all. So if I had some help, it'd be better. <laughs> uh, I'm not special. I was just willing. Mm -hmm. I called out today. I was like, I hope I'm doing a good job. Yeah, they can't really know. <laughs> One just stares at it from like a objective. Are you crazy? <laughs> but then there's this like resonating gong of truth or what I'm coming out of the mouth. To which no one really resists. It's just intense and it scares them. It makes them realize that maybe there is something to all that, which is terrifying if you've been a shithead. All the shit has come to me to get saved. That's whatever. I get it. All experiences really uh, experience the same way. <clears throat> Things that are universal are. Universal. Duh. <laughs> uh, well, that's been a general, general message. General, general. Well, if you resonate with it, cool. If you don't, well, it's just another weird monologue. Uh, that did concern me. Um, of a madman in a tower. Um, I never hear like another voice because <laughs> I know um, that you shouldn't because there are no others. Uh, so I, don't know, I didn't look into that. It's probably just future self stuff. No, that was weird. I need to make my anti. Uh, References to these things. <laughs> the humidifier. Anyway, 34 minutes, that's good. Uh, I might live this, doesn't matter. Yeah, doesn't matter. He's hanging out with me. Hanging out with my poor human, actually. I was giving my human some air there. <laughs> I'm pretty mean to it. Uh, I'm not mean to it, I just push it to the limit. <laughs> uh, like the limit. Intensity. I guess I don't have high pain tolerance. It's not pain. It's intense sensation. The moment you call it pain, it becomes pain. Uh, your little tiny pains hurt the worst. Because they sneak up on you. And it 
it's over before you can defuse it. <laughs> so, then is there really pain in that? Or am I so fucking dumb? Well, I don't know what I was <laughs> Uh, well, this is very Kennedy one. I actually asked this uh, some, someone the other day. I was like, what if Jesus... <laughs> that's fine, because I'm sure that's annoying. Um, I was a masochist, too. <laughs> he was like, that's an interesting thought and kind of explains things. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. I was feeling it, and I'm being like what I feel, not what I was taught. I don't know, so I can't know. <laughs> but I'm getting the similar response and similar experiences, so. And... <laughs> Just a crazy madman in a tower. Well, he's trying to emulate something amazing and benign and uplifting. And he is being those things. So, man. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's a fine line. Am I becoming messianic? <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, my benign sovereign someone the other day, and they got the point in how that is actually loving, too. I was just like, yeah, let me explain something. Oh, it was a Father's Day thing. I don't know, I just went around the city when I was a father to everybody. <laughs> Doesn't that sound a little harsh? Guess what they don't have a problem with. <laughs> You're welcome from your benign sovereign. Uh, ridiculous. Anyway, I'm gonna get off this horn here. Uh, if you find yourself in a dark space, Q's got you. Thank y'all.